morning is probably not the best because I am in the cabin, but we... It's too loud in my house to film, so this is just going to be the new filming place apparently anyway. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I... If you haven't seen my previous video about where I have been, I will link that up above now. But these are a couple of videos that I actually filmed back in April and I finally have got around to editing them. Yeah, I had a lot more hair then before the postpartum hair loss kicked in and before I chopped it all off. In this video, I thought I would show you the three smoothie recipes that I make every single week. Uh, we love smoothies in our house and it's a great way to prevent food waste. You can just throw everything in there, but these are my three go-to recipes. There are three different flavors and let's get straight into the video. Here are three amazing smoothie recipes. My first recipe for you is a blueberry smoothie and all of these recipes do have banana in it and I thought I would let you know that I do not like bananas but I have found a hack so that in my smoothies you cannot taste the bananas. But what we do is the general rule of thumb is if you're making a smoothie for you you've normally got one or half one small banana or one half of a large banana and then about a cup to half a cup of each other fruit. For this smoothie one banana about a half a cup of blueberries and about half a cup of frozen pineapple and frozen blueberries. The trick to making the best smoothie is do not use water. The trick is to use a juice. So in this one, I'm using coconut water and apple juice. If you don't want to buy coconut water because it's expensive, then apple juice is your best friend for this smoothie. If you do not have a high speed blender like the Vitamix, then where I'm using frozen fruit for all of this, either use fresh or let it thaw quite a bit before you do choose to use it um, and it will blend smooth in a normal blender and then cover the fruit with liquid so for this one it's an, i'm doing about half and half half apple juice half coconut water but you can just use one of one of them i would encourage it to be apple juice and then just make sure the fruits are covered other than if it's a frozen banana then obviously that's going to stick out a bit but generally just cover the fruits and then it should blend smooth and this one is super sweet super yummy and it's a really fun way to start the day. The next smoothie I have, a full banana or a half a banana. And then once again, it is about half a cup to a cup of mango and pineapple. Then I top it with orange juice. This is the thing that makes it so much better. If you are using water in your smoothies, please stop and switch to apple or orange juice or any juice really. It just heightens it so much. And then we blendy blendy blend. And then we have our amazing very tropical fruit smoothie. And my final smoothie that I have most weeks, again, it is very, very similar to the previous one, but I'm just also adding in passion fruit and spinach, and then having a bit of coconut water and orange juice instead of just the orange juice. So you can add passion fruit to any of these smoothies and it will make it amazing. And then, so that means we've got a purple smoothie, a yellow smoothie and a green smoothie and the green smoothie you cannot really taste the greens in it so another one of those where if you want to get some greens in and you don't really like them then the passion fruit and the orange juice counteract the greens i found and pineapple and all of the tropical fruits bananas are a great way to fill them up without spending a fortune also you do not need to add the passion fruit into the smoothie at all it worked great just adding the spinach in one thing about smoothies you need to know is that you can quite literally throw any fruit in there. I look in my fridge a lot and go, what fruit is about to go off that we need to eat? And I just throw it in. Strawberries with the greens on, yep, they go in. Another great smoothie is just bananas, strawberries, pineapple, and then apple or orange juice. Another one, again, I tend to have, you'll find in all my smoothies, they tend to be banana and pineapple and then something else to kind of differentiate. So. Banana, pineapple, peaches is a great one. Again, topped with some form of like orange or apple juice. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you in the next one. Hopefully in a better location at some point, I don't know. This might be my backdrop to a lot of sit down videos because it's just so much quieter than the house. Like the house is chaotic and a mess, like it's a mess. And I've got Lego even in the cabin. It's just infiltrating the whole house, but that is the video for today. Let me know if you try any of these and what one your favourite is, or if you have any great smooth recipes that you think I should try specifically. I'd love to hear them. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, friends.